Grand Rapids, Michigan, home to professional hockey with the Rockets in the 1950s and the Owls in the 1970s. So in 1995, when Van Andel Arena was being built, Dan DeVos and David Van Andel decided to bring a new team to the city. One of their first steps was finding a name for that team. We always were going to have a name the team contest because it's, just, it's a community thing, you know. It's, it's, we figured the team's part of the community. I mean, we, we operate and do all that, but it's a community asset here. And so we want the community to be involved in, in naming the team. And we, and we wanted to see what their interest level is and how much excitement we could generate during that time. And so the name the team contest was an, was an obvious thing, to, thing for us to do. Did you in your mind have a name? Did you guys think about yeah. any names or you were just gonna? We really didn't. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, we probably bandied out a few, but nothing, nothing serious. Because there was, there was a discussion we had internally because we started a company that we know is West Michigan Hockey. And the debate, at, you know, the discussion that we, we had is it could be Grand Rapids or is it we could call it West Michigan yeah, something. Yeah. We noticed that they were gonna have a naming contest. And my, our kids, we have three children, two sons and a daughter, and my wife and we all said we ought to we ought to enter that and see what we can do. So we sat down around the kitchen table and we got out a dictionary, and we turned to the the GR section, and we were trying to find a symbol or a name for a symbol that embodied the aggressiveness and the strength, and the, and also had the sound uh, part of it. That, that matched up with Grand Rapids, and we came across Griffin in the in this dictionary, and we circled well, it. I, it was the only one I sent in, mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking about it, and I thought, oh, you know, you, it's a mythological creature, and you know, I thought it had the proper alliteration, you know, GR and GR, so Grand Rapids, Griffin's two syllables. I think we submitted probably close to 20 names really? between us. It was a joint effort of my son, my husband, and I. We kind of went through the dictionary, the thesaurus, everything, yeah. trying to find something that sounded good with Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. And uh, came up when we came to Griffin's, kind of knew that was probably the best one. We had the old Oxford Dictionary that was about this thick. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it, you, know, you could go in the dictionary and they'd have uh, illustrations. So they actually had an illustration of one of the old Gothic mm -hmm. um, English griffins. And I remember when I wrote out the, uh, you know, the name and the reasons, and I put this in there, I said, and by the way, your logo would be cool, pretty cool, and this is what it was. So I photocopied it, I you know, taped it on, and I sent it in. Because the imagery that goes with it, uh, the mythology of the griffin, and how it represents kind of the ideal hockey player, fast like an eagle, aggressive and uh, strong like a lion. As the week go on and I knew the contest was coming to a close for our submissions and I was like, okay, I need to find something kind of different. So one day I was driving through downtown Grand Rapids and I came across looking up at the older mm -hmm. buildings and I was looking at the gargoyles and stuff like that. And it's like, there it was. Okay, a gargoyle and it's, you know, it's a protector, right? that sort of thing. So then I started going in through Greek mythology and stuff like that, and that's when I came across the griffin. But I spelled it with an O, mm. not an I. Thank you. We want to do something a little bit differently, and we want to, we want to get, you know, put a face on it, some yeah. sort of face on, on the team. Uh, again, back to the ability to have a mascot and a logo that people could connect with. And of course, it's, it's family time, so we, need, we wanted something that would tie in for the younger generation, too, so yeah. that they could, they could relate and engage. And, uh, appreciate a mascot, and and we were down the th down the final final ones as I remember. We were sitting at a, a board of governors meeting, at, which was of course the IHL at the time, and I was sitting next to a guy that uh, I think his he had a team, a Minnesota team. I, I gave him a list. I said to him, and he said, "What what do you think?" And he he he's one that also came up with Griffin. Probably most people probably not even know, but at the the exhibitors building over here, which is connected to the Emory Grand Plaza, on the exterior of that. Uh, in the stone, in the stonework, there are little griffins in there. And once we saw that, we, oh, that must be a sign. You know, all those different things just sort of fell into place and you get different commentaries and just, it seems to roll off your tongue fairly well. And yeah. again, being, being a little bit of unknown, it created some more discussion and, and about the name and about the team, as the people talked about a griffin and, and what's it going to look like and how we're going to develop that and through, into, into a logo and into a mascot. And, you know, all those type of things. And as we started testing the name and talking about it, just casually, as, as I did with that, the, the, other, the other owner, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we talked around, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? And so you get, you get the head nodding and you get, yeah. you get that feeling of general support. 
you know, for that, for that, uh, for that uh, name. We're very excited when we heard that we had been one of the people. I don't think we knew until we got down for the press conference that there were eight of us. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, we were told, you know, that we were one of the people whose name was selected and yeah. came down and found out, oh, well, there's a few more of us. Uh, yeah, I got notified and said, hey, you know, you're one of the final contestants that you named the team. and. You know, we'd like you to participate in the unveiling of the, the team and everything. And I was like, I was like all over. That was awesome. Now, did you know when you went to the press conference what the team name was? Had they told I you? I don't think so. So, when, so, so we didn't know which one they picked. <laughs> so the unveiling was as a big a surprise to you as anybody else in the audience? Yep. Oh, yep. I didn't even know the that. The only two yep. contestants I remember of the eight of us, other than myself, of course, was the eight-year-old kid and then the secretary of an owner that couldn't be there. So he'd sent his secretary in his place for at the press conference. Mm. I got a call and it was going to be either right before or right after Thanksgiving. I don't remember. But we had friends that lived in California and we were going to spend Thanksgiving with them. So we had the plane tickets, the reservations, and you know, we were going to meet them out there. So when they called to ask whether I could go to the you know, be available for a press conference or something. I, like, I can't, I'm going to be in California. Yeah. And um, my secretary happened to be standing there in my office. Um, and I said, hey, can you go to a press conference? <laughs> and she said, sure. And she did. And so she went and I didn't. Yeah. And then uh, talked to her afterward. And so uh, she brought the t-shirts yeah. and everything back. It was an afternoon kind of like luncheon kind of thing. And then yeah. uh, us eight contestants, we had to sit in the front row, we had our I Name the Team t-shirts with the Griffins on, on, it was a white t-shirt, and then we had to wear a black t-shirt that said I Name the Team on the front. Mm. And I think it was in the front or the back. So that was over the t-shirt. Oh, yeah, that's it. This shirt um, was worn over this one. And this one had no logo. No, it had no logo. Back, so just I Name the Team. Right, and this one had had the logo on it, and said I named the team on the back and then um, when you know um, everyone was apparently up on stage or whatever wherever they were they had the black over what would be the logo shirt. And during our debriefs of once um, DeVos unveiled the logo then we were to take our black t-shirts up to unveil the uh, logo and I named the team. Oh, very cool. I mean obviously you were in Palm Springs for a reason you yeah. know probably tough to get out, get out of that, but do you look back and kind of wish the heck you would have been at this this event? Yeah, to a degree, yeah. you know. I mean, it, it, it was really cool kind of the way it worked out because um, we were with our friends and then in the, and we didn't have email back then. So, you know, my secretary actually sent me a fax with, you know, um, some of the, the stuff and they had photocopied some yeah. of this stuff. And so it was kind of cool. Yeah. And there was a drawing for who was, the, the grand prize was a two season tickets yeah. for the, what have been, would have been the inaugural season. Mm -hmm. And another uh, person got that and the other seven of us got gift certificates to the shop here. I was not that winner. Yeah. It was the guy <laughs> who owned the company who wasn't there. Wasn't his, there yeah. And his secretary I, I, won for him. Need not be present to win, huh? But I took first place, and I, t I, I won first place, and I got four tickets to um, uh, the inaugural game. Uh, you know, and to be honest with you, I've never looked at the video or anything. And word so has it that, she, that you guys were the actual winners of this contest. I mean, you were amongst the eight, but you were the designated the, the one winner. My husband's jersey is over here, because oh, one of the okay. things we won was a gift certificate to the, uh, the company or team store. Yeah. So he picked that. So and they they recognized all of us and gave us this card that says, I named the team. And we all the eight people that came up with Griffins got one of these cards. So whenever people would start talking hockey, I'd have to get this out and show it to them. Yeah. So you were part of the company that printed the ID cards? That... So yeah, um, so I worked for the company called the Embossing Center and Joey Gallant comes into the office. I knew him, I recognized him from past and, and being around rinks and such. And I was like, what is he doing here? And he had a, I just had to glance, and he had a, you know, IHF letter in his hand, you know, envelope. I was like, okay. And I knew, of course, I knew that a new team was coming to town. And I was like, what's going on? Of course, I was not privy to any of the information at all until after I found out I was one of the contestants in the mm -hmm. team. Then they were able to tell me that my company printed 
I named the team cards, my boss and my manager, yes, that they, they were biting their lip. They yeah. could, of course, because they couldn't tell me, but it was yeah, pretty yeah. exciting when they were printing my name on one of the cards. Yeah. The name just rolled off your tongue, Grand Rapids Griffins, GRGR, -GR, but this, the, the logo was just fantastic because it, it, it embodied both um, strength and um, aggressiveness, which is not bad in a hockey team. Uh, you know, the teasers on the billboards before they actually announced, yeah, I'm kind of like, oh, I, I think we might have this. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, what roars like a lion and flies like an eagle or whatever it was. I'm trying to remember, because I remember it was on 131, I saw it for the first yeah, time. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I really liked the, the logos. Yes, we worked with a firm out of New York to, to come up with a logo. Yeah. Yeah, and just sort of started working with them and you know relying on their expertise that, that would that would fit we didn't you know we didn't want anything flashy we wanted we want to stick with the basic colors we, we knew that uh, but we wanted color, colors that connect would connect to ice and ice sports and we wanted colors that connect to Grand Rapids and so we, we evolved it, into what which we started with and of course that has evolved the colors have evolved a little bit you know over the years uh, the logo has changed a bit over the years and been updated as we go. How did you feel about that logo? Oh, it was uh, it was cool. I mean, I was like, yeah, that's that is you know that is a griffin, yeah. bar none. And and uh, the the artist that uh, came up with the the scheme did a great job. So you were you were really surprised at the seven thousand season tickets. And, oh yeah. And having to cut it off, I mean, you probably oh, yeah. could have sold ten or twelve thousand. Yeah, right? I mean, those first couple of years, yeah, we we probably could have we could have packed it out, but we wanted to put. You know, we put a limit in place for, yeah. for you know for, for reasons, of course. So we, we didn't cut everybody out, and, uh, and and just to just to be in that arena, that, you know, especially the first year, you know, I mean, every night the thing was packed. And we can see where we're sitting at the first right? game up in the up in the stadium. Well, go ahead and point or the that arena. out. Let's see where, where are you? We're right here. Are you in the white? Are you in the? Uh, this is I my the husband and me. Yeah, I wore I, the, my T-shirt that said I named the team, and you can't really see my son, but he's sitting there in the darker. So you were here for the first one. I was. Do you remember where you're sitting? Yeah, um, we you, were. That's, that's opening night right there. Um, I was. Let's see. Probably right about there. We were, and I, I don't remember the exact section number, but it was. Yeah. If this is home side. We were right in the corner. We were right about here. We were smack dab in the middle of the uh, of the section. So that was a great game. Well, when, when I hear the name Griffin, I, I just I just think of fun. I, I just think that you know it's a it's been a, such a, a source of pride. I know for 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 not only me and Dave, but I think for the community too. Uh, that that they they ha they had an impact on on, on what's going on. All this time later, and they're still, they're still impacting it. They're still here on the streets. People still talking about it. Uh, they're still loving going to games. Uh, so it's, it's, it's after all these years, it's still, still strong.